Hedgehog Holly. This is just a quick little video that is a uh, viewer's choice. So I was asked to do a quick video on how I always tie the perfect bow. I have two methods depending on what I'm trying to achieve, so let me show you what I mean. So first of all, I grab my spool of ribbon and I always tie my bows when my uh, ribbon is still on my spool. I choose how long roughly I want the tail to be, so depending on whether I want it to go down the card or I just want a short one like this and I make a first loop and I hold that between my finger and thumb and then over my other finger I make another loop and I again hold that with my finger and thumb like so. So I've got two loops, one in each hand and I just knot those together. This is one of those things that's difficult the first time but you'll find that there is a knack to it. So there we go, I've knotted them together then just pull them tight like so and you'll find you have a little bit of an uneven bow and then what we're going to do is we're going to pull them to the length we want. And this will take a few attempts. So every time you pull, they get loose, the knot in the middle, and you have to pull it back. So this one it takes a little bit of fiddling, but you will get to the right size and a nice even bow. So that's how I want to have my bow. And now my biggest tip is to have a pair of scissors that are purely for ribbon. I bought these Ginger ones, and I'll link to it in the blog post, which you'll see below, which is also part of this week's tutorial. And my biggest tip is to have these, and I keep them purely for ribbon. They're really sharp, they're sewing scissors, they're little snips. And then I can cut my tails like that. So that's my first method for doing a bow. My second one is if I am wind winding some threads like this, then I quite often will want to put a bow in the middle just to make it look pretty. So I pre-wrapped this piece of cardstock with my um, threads, and I'm going to use some of the thick white baker's twine. And this I do exactly the way I would any other bow on a gift. So I give myself a nice long tail. I still keep my twine on here because it saves waste on one end. And I tie a knot. So that's the first thing I do. So I just tie it around and I gather my threads where I want them to be. So on this one I think I might have it to one side. So you can see there it's just slightly to the left. And then I tie a normal bow like I would on a gift. So I keep one loop at the top, I wind over the top and down the bottom, and then I pull through my bunny ear, as I was always taught them as. And that means that both of your loops, can't talk and but tie bow, <laughs> both of your loops will be at the top and both your tails will be at the bottom. I'll show you what I mean. If I untie this bow, if I bait my bunny loop, and then I do it through the bottom like this, both my tails are the wrong side. So you want to make your loop over your finger, come over the top down to the bottom, make sure you catch it, and then pull your loop up so your loop is being pulled through to the top of the card. Like so. And to start with, it'll probably look a bit of a funny um, bow, but again, just like the first one, what we're going to do is we're just going to manipulate it around and pull it until we're happy with the size. And you will always get some bows that misbehave, and I'll show you in just a second what I'm going to do with this one. So I'm going to cut my tails to the length that I want them, again using those really sharp snips so I get a nice clean cut. And then when I have a bow like this that wants to misbehave, I grab a glue dot. Pick the glue dot up onto your finger. So pick it up with your nails if you can, like so. Place it underneath the threads and the bow. And a little bit fiddly. We are going to stick it down. And that glue dot will hold your bow wherever you want it. And it won't move, which is particularly good if you put it in the mail. But you see now my bow is behaving nicely. So they're my top tips. I hope that helped you. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you again soon. Happy stamping. Bye.